best practices okay so first important thing is write comments very 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 important you are a best developer you are a professional developer when you start writing what you when you start writing what comments so see here this is what my requirement okay this is the purpose this is good sir if i write like this this is not a good way yes it is a good way but what i will do is i will write okay developer sk okay story maybe i will write in a single line okay story okay and date of creation story number i will say 1 2 3 okay and date maybe i will say v1 version 1 okay equal to maybe 8 and 8 i will say like this and even i will say purpose also okay auto population of user field okay good now how you felt after writing this comment before writing the comments do you see some something here is that some value add here or nothing waste sir what is your opinion easily understand we can easily understand why we are writing this easily comment. understand we are understanding or maybe after two years if someone opens it they can also understand yes so it, it gives something good yes everyone yes sir yes good Yes. Second thing, okay. First one, write more comments. Second thing is, okay, use more script includes, okay, than BRs. Third one, okay, when you use get reference, okay mostly use callback function this is must almost like must it will work okay but still you use it intentionally you use it okay now you know why good fourth one okay don't write okay glide record in client side so what is the meaning of it in client side scripting never ever write glide record sir if i write it will it execute yes it will execute but you should not write sir what will sir what will happen if i write it some glide record concept here you are doing something see here you are loading you are changing a field value in this script you are writing a glide record and then querying database and then getting the results and then using it here you are in a farm you are going to database doing so many activities coming back so is that a extra load huge huge load to the farm yes performance issues will come yeah. yes so never ever do it it's not a best practice good then uh what else what else ma mostly use call okay client record script include then business and comments uh ta -ta 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 -ta. give me a second use more functions okay that is also script includes use more functions that doesn't mean like script include service no scripting best practices If you, now, if we read it now, we automatically understand the topics, okay? If we tell the same concept maybe five, six classes before, maybe we don't understand few top, few points, one or two points, okay? So let me see. Uh, make the code easy to write. Yes, comments, spaces, very thin, very good. Comment your code. Yes, we, are, we covered it. And then use white spaces. Not required, leave it and then write simple statements 
mm -hmm, not good components reusable right reusable functions what is reusable functions reusable functions means script includes correct yes sir. yes so write more script includes okay then variables define more variables that is a general topic general scripting okay now okay very important thing run server side scripts asynchronously very important don't try to run synchronously if you have a chance keep it maximum asynchronous so see here when you are running there is one more important thing in the script include okay you are running here what get xml correct yes so there is one yes. there is one more called get xml wait is also there there is one very important topic called what is the difference between get xml and get xml wait you can just keep wait here okay so see here this is also this same topic we are discussing asynchronously now get xml is synchronous get xml is asynchronous okay get xml wait means here it is asking to wait okay here no wait asking no wait so one is synchronous another one is asynchronous correct yes what is synchronous yes, what is asynchronous here maybe you just async okay means no wait no wait means which is not waiting here not waiting for response. Get XML, is, get XML is asynchronous, correct? Yes, sir. Yes. So try to use get XML. Don't you wait get XML. Don't use get XML wait. Why? Because we are using callback. We are separately using callback. Okay. So no need to wait and then again callback. So get XML is fine. Good. Okay. Run the server side script asynchronously so that it okay it use the performance very fine stored application okay good now client script best practices very good so just use client script to validate data very good set restrict good 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 nothing waste these are all waste okay bury the glide as x call what does that mean in this in this example Isaac call is buried one level deeper okay not required ma. okay technical thing we covered pretty much important thing that's enough okay no to run run business tool conditions use the proper conditions ma. very very important okay conditions is very important I will tell you one example last point maybe sorry to drag you okay right use proper conditions so I will tell you one simple thing you understand it and then you you only tell what is the difference here okay uh, where is business tool business tool business tool give me a second right so see here I'll keep one condition. You tell me the difference, okay? You understand and tell me the difference, okay? Insert, update, okay? Here, condition I'm saying, maybe ST user, ST agent, true. Okay? What is this condition? Or, what is this condition? Is there any difference between the previous condition and this condition? Yes. So this will cover both the transactions, true, false, no. Anyone? Mm. Please try. So see here. It I'm, is. Okay. Yes. I'm writing it now. Okay. Don't confuse it. I will write it because ST agent equal to true. ST agent changes to true. Now. What is the difference between this one? Okay, this one is ticked with insert and update. Okay, 
Now, you, tell me, try, try for one minute. I will cover it. If not, SD agent changes to true is like when you change it true or false, it will execute. Till when it is updating the record, it will be changes to means. What does it mean then? Sir, uh, SD agent is equal to true means when you will submit the record. Uh, then it should run and SD agent changes to true uh, means when we are changing okay. from Let false to true. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay, thousand incidents are updated. In the thousand incident, okay, SD agent value okay is true that time that means the business tool will trigger thousand times yes sir yes. Yes. yes this is already set you didn't set okay it's already there st agent equal to two it's already there maybe out of mm. thousand you made it hundred just now okay but you made only 10, okay, just take 10 records, you changed, okay, ST agent equal to true, you changed. Okay, for them, the business tool will trigger. For remaining 990 also, the business tool will trigger, condition, because the condition is true. Yes? Everyone agree? Yes? Yes. Okay. Now, if I keep this condition, ST agent changes to true, okay. 1000 incidents are updated, okay? When you are updating it, for 10, 10 incidents, you change it to true. Okay? For remaining, nothing happened. It's not even changed. Or it's not even true or false, doesn't matter. So, will it run for 1000 or it will run for only 10? Only 10. Good. Is there any difference between these two conditions then? Yes, sir. You understood my this logic, everyone? Yes. Yes, yes. Everyone, first time learners, you understood this point? Very important point. Developers. Any no here? Okay. Good. So proper conditions used.